Well, I'm Andrew Fowler from Miller Electric TIG Solutions. I'm the product manager for the business unit. What we're going to talk about today is uh, AC welding on aluminum, talking about the differences between your traditional transformer-based machine, tungsten geometry, and uh, arc performance versus the, uh, the new inverter-based power sources with a sharpened tungsten geometry, better arc control, and better overall weld quality. So what we're going to show you here today is the benefits, not only the difference between tungsten geometry and arc performance, but also how to increase your productivity and get better weld quality with your aluminum welding. What you're looking at here is the difference between a bald tungsten that you'd use it with a traditional machine and a pointed tungsten with a slightly blunted tip used on the new inverter power sources. It's a 2% cerium tungsten, so instead of having to switch between uh, like a pure tungsten and a, a different tungsten type for when you're switching between AC and DC welding, you can run a 2% cerium tungsten all the time and not have to switch between two different tungsten electrodes. Is what we're going to do first is we're going to want to clean the base material. Aluminum has a tenacious oxide on the surface, which is why we need the alternating current component. It, so we want to clean that oxide off before we actually start uh, beginning the weld. Now is what we're going to see when we're welding is the ball on the tungsten electrode is going to, the electricity is going to want to wander from one plate to the other. It's not going to really drive down in the corner of that fillet joint and get a good root penetration on the weld. This would be set up as a traditional transformer machine would be. So you can see the arc wandering back and forth between the two plates, not driving right down into the corner. You'll notice here, there's a very wide etching zone around the weld. And the weld ties in very nicely, but may not have adequate root penetration due to uh, low arc force off of the end of the tungsten with the traditional machine. So as what we've just done is we switched the machine over from uh, the characteristics of a traditional transformer based machine being 50% balance, 60 hertz, um, and using a ball tungsten. And now I've installed our new uh, pointed tungsten with a slightly blunted tip and set it up at 75% ba electronegative balance at 120 hertz. The characteristics that you'll notice, a little bit faster travel speed, more uh, stable arc off of the end of the tungsten during the initiation of the arc. What you're going to notice, the characteristics here, the etching zone is reduced and we have a little bit flatter weld profile so we're wasting less filler material out at the toes of the weld and then we also have a better arc force so you're going to notice the characteristic of a better uh, root penetration on that weld. We've made one more change to the machine we've left the balance at 75 percent electronegative we've increased the frequency up to 200 hertz. As what that's going to do is it's going to tighten the arc up a little bit more and get us a little bit more uh, directional control with the arc off of the end of the tungsten. Let's get to work. The, the arc as it comes off of the end of the tungsten is much more of a driving force to help us consume that root of that weld. The etching zone, because we increase the frequency, will be reduced slightly because we are increasing the travel speed through the utilization of a, of a higher frequency. Higher frequencies are, are typically used on uh, thinner materials to help uh, reduce the area of the heat input and to create a smaller weld which overall can help reduce distortion. So as what we've just done is we've talked about the, the balance and frequency adjustments on the Dynasty 350. If you have any more questions about it, you can contact your local distributor Check out our resources page on millerwelds.com, which has more TIG resources and links to YouTube videos to help improve your skills and improve your weld quality. Thank you for watching. <laughs>